Welcome to part 5 of my journey of restoring a 1981 Donkey Kong arcade machine. In this episode, I'll be highlighting a couple of things. First, I'll be tackling prepping the front of the arcade for new laminate. It's kind of a lengthy process, but uh, presenting it here at 20 times the normal speed so we can get through it quicker. And so all I'm doing here is I'm taking the time to go ahead and... Uh, uh, secure the connections. Uh, originally, it's just all stapled together, a little bit of glue, um, not really strong. Um, also using this because there's a little bit of warpage uh, along the way, and this is all uh, squaring things up, making it stronger, uh, so it'll last another 30 years. Um, just going through, taking my time, gluing up the pieces, uh, using strong wood glue. Didn't actually looked like it was wood glue to begin with, almost like a white Elmer's glue. It looked like, I don't know if someone had tried to repair it at some point in the past. Um, I'm going ahead and uh, I'm bonding some things up, um, fixing some of the edges where they weren't so crisp anymore, um, doing this so that uh, we can go ahead and uh, uh, when I route the edges, there'll be a nice clean edge after uh, adding the laminate. And I'm just going to take some time here and sand the bondo down. Uh, again, trying to get a nice, uh, flat, smooth, clean uh, edge for the laminate to adhere to. I'm going to go ahead and add some contact cement. Uh, it'll be added to both sides, the piece that I'm uh, applying the laminate to and the laminate backing itself. Um, And again, if you watch one of my earlier videos, you'll see me doing this with the control panel. I originally applied black laminate to that. And here I am, I wanted to, before I uh, uh, started laying the laminate down, making sure that uh, I got it positioned in the right spot. I'm going to go ahead and trim it to size now. A little hole that you see there, so I can go ahead and route out the coin door. out pretty well at this point I think. That was a new sanding block that I made just for this. And here we are at the end where I'm going ahead and displaying the uh, finished front panel. Ready to go back onto the arcade unit. I think it looks great at this point. Okay so with that being done now we'll go ahead and, and uh, I'm going to start off by uh, starting to prep the the other part of the arcade, the main part, the other three sides basically. Um, so let's start by uh, taking a quick tour around what it looks like right now. Um, I have already applied some Bondo. So I have the front panel taken off. Um, for the most part, the box was pretty nice and clean. Uh, some of the edges needed to be Bondoed up. Um, and uh, to make, again, for the lamination process to be able to really get a clean uh, edge. That is an area where some of the uh, uh, previous lamination was ripping up. So I taped that back in rather than bondo the whole thing. You can see some of the Donkey Kong original artwork there. Uh, someone had cut it away. You can see the Nintendo part of the top of that one was cut away and down the side. Not sure why someone had done that, but um, they did. Uh, so later on we'll be removing that for, for new artwork that I already bought. The back side was probably the beat up, more beat up than any place else. Um, uh, you can't see it here, but it was a lot of bondoing I needed to do at the bottom um, for this. Um, I have removed the uh, original serial number panel, I'll put that back later. See the other side only had the top of the Donkey Kong artwork, not the bottom. You see, overall, though, it wasn't in bad shape. And let's take a look at the top. And the black top. And here we go. I'm going to go ahead and start using a, a heat knife to start removing it. 
um, helps melt that adhesive and uh, makes it quick to be able to go ahead and remove that. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, speed this up just a little bit by just switching to uh, just taking some snapshots. And there we go. Very quickly, um, that all came apart. Now I'm moving on to uh, showing, uh, I've already done some prep work, I've already started putting some paint on the back panel. Uh, I put the kick back together, that goes along the base. I've added some Bondo to the bottom here. Um, that was pretty beat up. Um, taped off some areas. Um, and uh, I'm just about uh, sanded everything up. I sanded it with 80 grit and then 120 grit. <clears throat> and uh, I'm just getting ready now to go ahead. We'll start uh, working on the, uh, actually putting some paint down on this thing. Okay, and all this is just to show the before. I've done a lot of prep work to this point, done a lot of sanding, um, and just got some stuff masked off. I'm ready to go ahead and start applying some paint. So what I'm going to show you here first is the application of some of the uh, uh, semi-gloss uh, latex paint that I added. Um, this was to the back, to the top, the inside where it's darkened. Now the parts where I want to go ahead and, which is the very front, the parts that will be seen by the person using the machine, I'm going to go with a uh, an enamel spray paint. I'm going for a gloss finish. You can see kind of a mirror finish there already. And uh, this is only the first coat. So I'm going to have to come back. i got to let this dry thoroughly. I'm going to sand it. Um, puts on some more coats. I'm going for a nice smooth finish. So please join me next time for taking a look at that, and thank you for watching.